Hey everybody, Jeff aka G Curse here. I hope you are all having a great Sunday. It is currently Jesus Christ, what the hell time is it? Uh it is currently 10 1 45 a.m. So 1 45 p.m. on the 8th of September 2024. It is a rather kind of hazy Sunday afternoon here in the city of Kelso, Washington. We're dealing with fires all around the area. And I figured, you know, it's Sunday. We, you know, air is filled with smoke. I'm bored as hell because I'm stuck inside due to the smoke. Let's do a reaction. So today for this video, I will be doing a reaction of uh, some, it's like a compilation of old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle commercials. These, uh, you know, run the gambit of food products, toys, and everything in between. Uh, as always, wait, uh, wrong button. As always, if you like what you watch, click the like button. If you like Ninja Turtles, click the subscribe if you like Ninja Turtles, and click the bell to be alerted when I release new content. With that said and done, let's get to the show, shall we? So, switching over to here, let's do this, let's do that. Aha, I got it done uh, on the first go around. I feel so awesome. Anyway, so let's get going. Three, two, one. This video comes to us from Retro. Hold on. The Retro Scene. I'm sorry about that, guys. I had to turn down the audio a little bit. Okay, right off the bat, uh, these were like, I think this, this is the, I think Splinter was in the first wave of Ninja Turtles. I can't recall if he was first wave or second. I know the first wave had the f four turtles. It had, and then I think it had Shredder, Krang, Bebop, and Rocksteady. I think it may not have had uh, Foot Soldier. I can't remember for sure. But the one thing I loved about the splinter figure is how his cane also doubled as his sword as you can see it looks like a, a walking stick right now or if that's what you want to call it but it's actually uh, had a, sh a sheath and that's what i actually loved about this toy i'll be honest i hated i hate cloth clothing when it comes to action figures because no matter what i try to do the, clo the clothing never looks as nice as it does once the toy gets out of the box. The, the clothing gets all kind of messed up. And no matter how much you try to make it look nice, it just does not look right. Each the ninja artist. Donatello, master of the staff. War! Leonardo, the katana blade. My God! Raphael, the Sony. Don't this at home, kids! And Michelangelo, the new shackles. Radical uh, and master of the willing pizza. Hey, who had the pepperoni and ice cream? of the turtles taught them each the ninja arts okay so as you can tell a lot of these commercials are going to be kind of uh kind of similar that they're covering like the same toy or something that's the way it's always been with these toy commercials that they will have like uh like an accessory which you'll find see pretty soon like for example the party wagon and they will do various commercials just focusing on that one uh toy so like the for example here we have splinter so do not be shocked if you see, you know, numerous commercials focusing on one specific item. Now he must face something far more deadly. The Shredder, leader of the Foot Clan and sworn enemy of the Turtles. It is so good to be so bad. How can a good rat avoid a bad cut-up? Okay, the one thing I hated about the Shredder, I don't know why they did it, but they had him literally be shirtless. As you can see in the uh, vid the video here, he yeah he had a cape on, but if you take off the cape, he's literally shirtless, and he wasn't shirtless in the cartoon, and that just drove me nuts. I'm like, why is he so? Why is he shirtless? You know, I just I did not like that. From Playmates. The 
Redder, sworn enemy of the turtles. It feels so good to be so be bad. So With his henchmen, the dreaded foot soldiers, the mutants Bebop and Rocksteady. What do I do with them? Destroy them! Oh, what turtles. Okay, so when it came to, for some reason, and then I learned why later, uh, the uh, Rocksteady figure that I had, Rocksteady's the rhinoceros, he had a soft, squeezable head. And if I understood correctly, I think that meant that he was like a second production run. The problem is, is like that rubber, the rubber head was so soft, around the horns especially, it started, to, the, the, the plastic would start to, uh, break down pretty quickly so it get to the point after a while the horn would start the horns would start literally coming off and i'm just not a fan of soft rubber for heads or arms or anything like that i think it should all be hard plastic from playmates what's going on here it's the turtles giving the old foot soldier I got this for Christmas. I think it was in, I think it was like whenever this came out. I think it was like 88, possibly maybe 89. Um, here, let's actually do a quick, let's do a quick, uh, chill, uh, ooh, hold on. Okay, let's do a quick, uh, look just, you know, to, just to find out. Let's see here. There we go. Uh, TMNT. Oh God, what was it? Sewer skate board. Um, it's probably not even what I'm looking for. Nah. Oh God, I can't. Let's see here. TMNT sewer or skateboard. Uh, let's see, nineteen eighty-seven skate board. Probably gonna get everything except oh cheapskate is that what it's called? Um toy that's our toy picture of it. I want high tech one rest of hello trivia Bunga turtles accessory. Okay, let's try uh T M N E Cheap Skate Accessory. Um, vintage. Let's see. Let's go down to this. Of course, it's not going to get him. Really? Ooh, wow! They actually have all the accessories. Hey, if you guys want accessories, you can. They got this. Fifty nine bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, that was oh God. Of course, now that I want to find it. They probably won't, uh, uh, let's see, vintage, vintage figure archive. Okay, let's do that. Let's just go here. Um, let's see here. Oh, where's the original? Okay, oh, I guess this is it. Okay, basic assortment of vehicles. Cheapskate. What was that? Yeah, okay, so this is what it was. And when this this what was this release? I think it was like 88, 89, does it say? Doesn't say. But I actually got uh one of these for I think it was around Christmas. It was uh I think it was for Christmas because I had one when my father was uh me and my father was heading down to visit his family. Uh during this time of my life, my parents uh were uh divorced and my father would have visitations with me uh for summer and christmas and because of this i would actually uh i'd get presents from both my mom and my father and since i'd be going to view stay with my father during christmas uh my mom would have me open my presents early from her and this is one of the things and i remember playing with this while we were in his truck Heading to uh, see his family this way. Hold on. Oh, I can't. It doesn't show. Let's see here. Wait, hold on. I was looking at the wrong. Wait, oh, wrong button. Sorry. Does this actually have a date on it? 
cannot see anything. But I'm guessing it looks like it could have been 88 because it said here um, 88 releases. So yeah, about 87, 88 ish. But yeah, so I let's go back to this. Right, wrong button. Let's see here. Where is it? There it goes. But yeah, I remember having this. The only downside was that the uh, the fan on the back of the skateboard. Let's see. If we let's see here. Let's see here. What's going on here? Come on. It's the turtles giving the old foot soldiers the boot ah. with their latest invention. The okay, so as you can see, there's a fan on the back of the uh, skateboard. It wasn't as I'm not sure what the correct term is. It wasn't like it was as flexible as or or loose as it should have been because you know you're supposed to be able to blow on it and it's supposed to spin. And it wasn't like that at all. It was pretty stiff. So constantly I was having to use my finger just to try to get it to spin. And no matter how hard I'd spin it, it would not spin that fast. Cheapskate. Well, dude's on a roll. And look, in the sky, it's a bird. It's a jet. No, it's the turtle trooper parachute. Sorry to drop in without calling. Bring in the knuckleheads. Okay, the turtle, the, the turtle parachute and the knucklehead. I never even saw it here in uh, the city of Kelso, Washington, or Longview, which is across the river. During this time, we only had a couple uh, real, look or three, actually, three locations that sold Ninja Turtles. We had KB Toys, which I miss KB Toys. KB Toys was freaking awesome. Uh, we had Target, and we also had uh, a store called Fred Myers. They're also kind of known as Kroger, if I remember correctly. Fred Myers slash Kroger, for some reason, for some godforsaken reason, uh, they always sold their fit th these figures like Shred or Foot Soldier or whatever, like for twice what the normal price would be at Target or uh, KB Toys. And to this day, they still actually sell items like twice at normal cost. You can go to Kroger or Fred Myers, however you want to call them. And they will have like the most recent uh, Transformers. And they go for like the deluxe class go for like between $23 to $24 roughly. You can go to uh, Kroger and it could be anywhere from like $30 to $40. It's just, I, I don't understand why they have to have their prices jacked so, so high. You would think that they'd want to remain competitive so they, they would want to keep the prices as low as possible, but no, they go the opposite direction. Uh oh those attack and grab foot machines look like real trouble for the green guy. Whoa, getting a little carried away. Teenage Ninja Turtles. From Playmates. Get out of the way, bad dudes! It's the Turtles Party Wagon. The wacky attack van means good times for the green. When it came to the the party wagon, I love the party wagon. It was, I think, it was like one of the first accessories that my mom was able to get for me when uh, the Ninja Turtles were really big back in the eighties. I had to use my imagination till I got the party wagon, and basically, what I did was I took a box. And I literally cut holes in it for like the windows, and then I would like I would then have the top open that of the box be the top of the van or party wagon, and that's how they would get in. And I'd have to open the box up, but I had like little windows cut. It didn't have wheels though, and I just kind of scoot the box the box around on the carpet. But yeah, I, even though I was I was so grateful to finally get the party wagon. I was grateful, but then I also felt a little bit let down. I felt a little bit let down. And I think it's a case of never being, a, that no matter what, uh, oh God, what Playmates did, no matter what Playmates did, I don't think that they'd be able to live up to the hype of what the party wagon was. Because in the cartoon, the, the party wagon was like a major, like a mobile base. It had like a computer. It had like a a, a catapult. It, had, it was like I said, mobile base. However, the toy itself, as you can see here, 
the tour was kind of hollow on the inside. They just had seats. And, and to me, that was such, I, you know, granted, I'm happy I had it. But it's like, also, like, really? You know, like, where, where's the computer? Where's all this technological stuff that Donatello installed in the, uh, in the, uh, party wagon? I remember there was a scene, I can't recall what exactly it was, but they were, uh, chasing something, if I remember correctly, and a bug or some sort of virus got into their, the onboard computer of the party wagon, and they ended up driving off of the pier, if I remember correctly, into the water. But there's nothing like that on the inside of the vehicle. It was just a, such a letdown, you know, like, really? Uh. But like, then again, like I said, it could just be the fact that, you know, the cartoon hyped up something so much that no matter what Playmates was able to do, they would not be able to fully recognize what it was that was in the cartoon. Team guys and hard knocks for the foot, especially with the tenderizer. Yeah, and it's a big hit everywhere we go. And look, here comes the turtle cycle with its working handlebar sling. Okay, the turtle cycle, uh, basically, I, I love that downside. The uh, connector for the sidecar to the uh, motorcycle itself broke too easily. The master brain from Dimension X. Ah, Crane! The evil Shredder and Baxter Stockman, the wickedly winged scientists, are out to destroy the Ninja Turtles. Quack Doc! Right! Ace Doc, the Turtle. I got this figure. Let's see, when was it again? Let's go here. There we go. And then let's go to here. Ace Duck. When did Ace Duck come out? I got him Christmas one year. Oh, so, oh, he was in 89. Ace Duck was uh, in 89. But, uh, yeah, I got him Christmas from uh, my grandmother on my father's side of the, of the family. Uh, I got Ace Duck and Metalhead. Was Metalhead part of this release too? When did Metalhead come out? Oh yeah, he's also part of AI. But yeah, I'll, between Ace Duck and Metalhead, I'll, I'll be honest, I think Metalhead was uh, the, the, the best, I guess you could say. Okay, so let's go back over here. Turtle's top feathered friend, along with Genghis Frog, who's always hopping for action, always ready to fight on the side of the turtle. You'll be riveted to your scene. From Playmate. What's their up, dude? Whoa! Join the turtles on Foot Patrol in their battle-ready sewer tubes, featuring wacky pizza slice and oars, depth charge, and rotating foot blasters. Let me show you my new toy. It's the foot. I love the foot ski. Uh, I bought, I got both the foot ski and one of the tubes from a garage sale when I was younger. But I love the foot ski better than the tubes because the tubes literally came with nothing. I just literally had a tube and that was it. Now here's... Okay, hold on, let's go back. Come on. Ratola. That's not wacky. Okay, so here I actually have a little bit of a touching story. And it comes, it, it kind of uh, comes out of something kind of, kind of criminal, I guess you could say. Uh, back during this time, me and my mom lived with my grandmother. We all lived on, on uh, oh, a street it was called East Pineway here in Kelso, Washington. And during the 80s, East Pineway was really seen as, it was very uh, criminal, uh, Crime ridden, I guess, or crime laden, I guess you could say. It was, it was, it was a pretty hard place to grow up if, if you're a child. Uh, you could go outside during the daytime, but when it starts getting dark, you better get your kids inside because a lot of bad was happening on that street when I was younger. It was uh, to the point like on a nightly occasion, the police were always coming down to East Pineway in force. And it kind of ha earned the reputation of being called Little Tijuana because it was just so violent at the time. Well, one afternoon, I was in the backyard playing, uh, 
with my fig with my Ninja Turtles. And I actually found a twenty dollar bill. And uh my grand I brought it to my grandmother because I was just so excited. And my grandmother kind of uh, figured out that the money possibly came from somebody who was doing like a drug deal. So, you know, she, she my grandmother allowed me to keep it because what, what could we really do, you know, besides, you know, go door to door and go, hey, did you guys lose $20, you know? But so what I did was after my mom came home, I took uh, my mom using the $20. I took her to the mall. And we actually got dinner that night. There was a Mexican restaurant that's no longer there. And they used to have the biggest platters of nachos. Well, uh, you know, me and mom had dinner and I still had enough money left over. So mom took me to KB Toys, which was also in the mall. And I actually got this figure here. I know you can't really see it. It's supposed to be Donatello. Uh, he had a wind up ability where you could put him in the water and he kind of swim a little bit. This is the figure I got. I love the figure. The downside is the wind-up ability of these figures was not the best. So I, after a few times of winding these figures up, the mechanisms would break, which which was kind of sad. Okay. Well, what about sewer swimming Donatello, who gets into the swim with spear and scuba jet? Or rock and roll Michelangelo with spinning action arm and weapon? Well, now we're talking wacky. No, we're talking trouble. Oh my god, I miss the Mausers. I love the Mausers. Uh, the Mauser was the only toy I ever bought when I went to Toys R Us. The only time I ever went to Toys R Us, I got uh, a Mauser figure. And oh my god, the pies. Sewers to you. I, I I swear to God, if ha and not Hasbro, why did I say Hasbro? I don't know. If uh, Hostess brought back the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pies, I would buy those motherfuckers up. I love those things back in the uh, 80s and 90s. Basically, what it was was just a plain vanilla pie, but they had some sort of like a green glaze to the crust, and it was. I'm pretty sure it wasn't healthy due to the food coloring, but that motherfucker tasted awesome. The stickers, if I remember correctly, I think the stickers actually came from the first edition of the Ninja Turtles uh, collectible cards or trading cards. I actually got that somewhere. I think it's in my bedroom, but I got the fir full first uh, edition of the Ninja Turtles uh, collectible cards. Anyone for special soup? Oh no! Raphael's in the clutches of the evil foot flesh matic torture machine! Will the turtle cycle make it in time? Will Raphael be destroyed by the retro mutagen ooze? Well, I don't know. What a shot! The double-barreled plunger gun saves the day again! And with their retro catapult, the turtles are giving the foot some of their own medicine! Anyone remember where we parked? Now these items, I... They, they used to sell the ooze separate, like in little canisters. I think they look like trash cans, if I remember correctly. But I know, with the exception of the, uh, of the bike, the, I can't, God, I can't recall what it was, but it's the motorcycle with the little sidecar. I never saw the, uh, other accessories here at all. I never saw them. I didn't trust me. I, my mom would take me to KB Toys and Target all the time, and I just could never find the other three accessories here. So, you know, I'm pretty sure they could have been at those stores, but by the time I got there, they were never there. From Playmate. There are places where cookie boredom rules, and there are those who fight back. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cookies, and now Ninja Turtle crackers. <laughs> Or combat cookie boredom with over 40 varieties of delicious brand cookies. Great taste, great price. 
they weren't even real. They didn't even look like Ninja Turtles at all. They were, it looks like, hold on, let's go back. Hold on, let's go back. Okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cookies. And now, Ninja Turtle crackers! Also, what the fuck was up with the drawing of the Ninja Turtles in this commercial? Yeah, they look like Ninja Turtles, but they, the faces look weird. Combat cookie boredom with over 40 varieties. Okay, like, like, th how is this a Ninja Turtle? I don't understand. What is, th how does this represent the Ninja Turtles? This looks like a Keebler Elf uh, fudge stripe cookie, if you ask me. These are delicious brand cookies. Great taste. Great price. Is that a great deal or what? Let's party, dudes! The turtle's party wagon is ready to roll right over the foot plan. They may be tough, but the tenderizer will soften them right up. Launch the secret weapon! Uh oh, the shredder has it. I remember getting this. It was my mom had to go to uh my mom had to uh, go to the Three Rivers Mall at the time. At the Three Rivers Mall, when uh, she took me over there. Uh, they had a shoe store called Volume, or it like Volume Shoes or Payless Shoes or something like that. And I had enough saved up from my allowance that I could actually buy a, a Ninja Turtles accessory. And this is actually what I got was a uh, guy was uh, foot the foot cruiser. I think that's what it's called. The only thing that really freaked me out was, as you can see here in this blurry image, they had a, like a missile launcher. And the missiles look had like something that looked like eyeballs on them. It was, it was it was a little bit creepy, if you ask me. His own wheels and his foot cruiser looks really bad, and it converts to aerial attack mode. What next? Launch the launch! Whoa! The turtles' motorized pizza thrower will leave the foot with a bad taste in their mouths. If the guys don't eat all the ammunition, talk about out to lunch. Ninja Turtles from Playmate. Let's party, dude! The Turtles Party Wagon means good times for the green guys and hard knocks for the foot. Yeah, and it's a big hit. Yoink. And they were using Donatello's voice for Michelangelo. Did you guys notice that? Okay, for the Ninja News Cycle right here, I never actually hooked up the accessories to the sides like they showed in the video here. I basically only used the uh, sides as like wings to make it so it looked like the uh, to make it look like that the uh, motorcycle would fly. And here we go to some weird claymation, ladies and gentlemen. I I tend to look at these guys like the bastard love child between uh, the old uh, old Roman is it Roman I can't, or the Atlantean claymation movies and the. Uh, California raisins. Crunch it, Bunkers! We've got you now, Shredhead! The turtles have Shredder pinned down and are rolling their pizza thrower into position. I'll blast you with retro mutagen. But before he can act, the pizza thrower's adjustable aim and motorized firing action give Shredder and his henchmen their just desserts. You clogged my gun with anchovies! The turtles and their portable pizza thrower. The one thing that drove me nuts is in some of these commercials, the voice like a shredder, it did not sound like Uncle Phil from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I don't know what is it. The uh, the guy who play uh, Uncle Phil was it that they could not get, like meet his uh, contract price or whatever? Yeah, let me have it. Let's give it to him. Oh, oh I'm into that. Down, down, dude. It's crunching in. I have to be honest. This cereal tasted a hell of a lot better than the Nintendo uh, cereal system cereals did. Those Nintendo cereals tasted like utter shit. Ultras improved your favorite arcade game. First, we added two new levels, then packed it with bigger, stronger enemies, and a ton of extra foot soldiers. Next, we punched up the action with knockout new attack moves, and crime fighting scenes like the Ninja Castle. If that doesn't swell your shell, we made one more small adjustment. Introducing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh God, I remember. Uh, I remember when my mom got me this uh, game for my original for the original Nintendo. For a I'm not sure if it was like just during the first run of this uh, game, but it also came with uh, oh, what should we call it? A coupon 
for a free personal sized pizza or personal pan pizza from Pizza Hut. That's why this game had a lot of uh, Pizza Hut uh, marketing in the game itself. Uh, to those who were not around that play this game, uh, they that's why it had a lot of that product placement because you could actually get a free pizza. Turtles 2, the arcade game for your NES. Check out a totally new Game Boy game. Turtles 2, back in the sewer. Whoa! It's coming soon. Ultras improved your favorite arcade game. First, we added two new levels. Then packed it with bigger, stronger enemies and a ton of extra foot soldiers. Next, we punched up the action with knockout new attack moves and crime-fighting scenes like the Ninja Castle. If that doesn't swell your shell, we made one more small adjustment. Introducing the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game, today's biggest hit for your NES. Free personal See, there it is. From Pizza Hut. There it is. There's the pizza coupon. And the Xbox. Hey, guys. If you have the coupon and a time machine, you can actually get a free pizza if you can get there before December 31st, 1991, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so that is about it for now. I kind of figure that this is probably going to be a video that has to be done in chunks because... I'm only like 9 minutes and 21 seconds into the video itself, and I've already been recording for over 31 minutes. So I'm going to stop the recording now, and I'll upload this as part 1. And maybe when I have some free time after work this week, I may uh, do part 2 and then part 3 down the road. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, kind of... Uh, I just wanted to... Yeah, let's do this. I just wanted to kind of relive some of my uh memories with some of these commercials and that is about it so let me switch over to this and then i'll do this and this but that is it ladies and gentlemen i am going to head on out and i will see you for uh the next installment of this uh react uh trilogy of videos i'm hoping for it to be three parts maybe a little bit more but I will see you for the next part. As always, if you like what you watch, feel free to click that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. So until then, my name is Jeff, a.k.a. Curse, wishing all a great day. Stay safe. And cowabunga, dudes.